it's not as bad as it looks. <laughs> but um, one of the things that's interesting, it's um, probably everybody that has spoken before me has basically made everything that I have here uh, sort of useless. But, <laughs> but what I would like to do is I would like to uh, thank everybody for coming today, uh, I guess tonight, this afternoon. Um, yes, the Sherman Center was um, uh, somewhat of an idea that Ann and I had put together uh, some time ago. And it's probably not appropriate that I don't thank those that really made this happen. This, this was no simple feat. Uh, first thing we'd like to do is basically uh, give thanks to, which I guess we already have, to uh, Shashi and uh, Nadine Aubrey, because uh, in many times, uh, perhaps some people don't know that, but but to get space in a university like Northeastern is not an easy thing to do. And uh, many times uh, I could believe that uh, both Shashi and Nadine put on their battle suits and they went to the powers to be and uh, to fight for the Sherman Center. And um, what they did, uh, they got us the original space over there. Uh, we have the space now that we have over here. And uh, it just was not easy to do. Uh, having said that, the next thing we need to do is get more space. <laughs> <laughs> and I noticed there's a wall back here that could probably go back another 20 feet. <laughs> and um, that, would, uh, that would actually work very well. We, we, we heard about, um, we heard about uh, Generate, and we know that uh, they, part of the reason why this maker space was put here was uh, to support our students, Generate being some of them, to support our students in a way where they can think about something come out here, tinker around, and make it work or make it not work, uh, because I know it's, it's hard for us to believe, but sometimes the theory and the practice just doesn't seem to come together. And don't really know why, but that is uh, often uh, the case. Um, so um, I would like to thank uh, Nadine Aubrey, she's not here unfortunately, uh, the past Dean of Engineering for uh, going to bat to Shashi, who I know has uh, in many times uh, probably lost uh, uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of skin uh, fighting for the space that we now have. Um, the fact that we're here today in this space was not an easy decision, and it did not go over all that well. What I'm going to uh, what I'm going to do is uh, quickly go through all my notes because obviously you've heard them all before. Um, I would like to thank Andrew. I like to thank Jackie, Ted, and Noah for basically uh, putting together this maker space. Uh, the maker space. Uh, is something that uh, we believe very strongly that uh, it needs to be here. And since this is the only official maker space in Northeastern University, which sometimes just absolutely just, it's hard for me to, to really say that. But it, the fact is, is that uh, Ann and I made the university have a maker space where no maker space existed before. And uh, this is a, a real tribute to those that have made it everything it is. Uh, Shashi, uh, Andrew, Jackie, and Ted. And we can never forget all the, uh, everybody has talked about what, what Ted has done, but those of us on the creative side, we generate all these great programs that Ted has to make work. 
<laughs> and, and, and I got to tell you, um, that can't be easy. That, and that can't be, that can't be fun. But um, nevertheless, uh, without complaint, without uh, any kind of uh, pushback, when the going gets tough and you need to get something done, there's Ted. And Ted is there for us all the time. By the way, um, what we are standing in now, and I, again, if I didn't say it before, I'd like to welcome you all to the Sherman Center maker space. The Sherman Center is now called the Sherm. <laughs> and, um, and, and some people would get upset and say, gee, you know, it's not what it is. But in fact, in this day and age, being the Sherm is actually quite a tremendous compliment. <laughs> Because, I mean, everything is, is basically reduced to one word. And uh, so from now on, we are in the Sherm. And, I've been calling this makerspace, but that is so 90s, right? That is, I mean, it's, I'm, I'm showing my obvious age. So, um, our students, uh, I don't think faculty, but I think our students have decided that this space that we're in now shall, shall not be maker space. It shall be something else. And they have uh, thrown out a couple of names, and I'm going to throw them out for you at this time. First of all, we have maker space. OK, uh, that's obviously what I use, and that's obviously uh, 90s. We have Tinker House. Uh, I would like to believe that when you come here, we're engineers, that we don't tinker. We come here with purpose. And so, mm, not so sure about Tinker House. Fab Lab. It rhymes. Not bad. <laughs> so, um, I don't know what's going to happen, but every week I get my, uh, my Sherman Center Gazette produced by Izzy Stepanik, and this is a must read if you're interested in what we do here. It has everything in it, and uh, I will have to wait until at some issue it'll come out, and I'll know the official name of, well, maybe it's the unofficial name of this, uh, of this space. Uh, but until that happens, uh, you'll have to forgive me, and I will still call it Makerspace. <laughs> uh, we've heard about some of the things. The Sherman Center has only existed for a little over six years, and we've only had a physical presence here uh, on this piece of uh, Hayden Hall uh, for about five years. Uh, I, it is my uh, fondest hope that we could rename this hallway to the Innovation Highway. And uh, hopefully the university will uh, support that. Um, there's a lot of really good stuff going on here. There's a lot of good stuff going on on the business side of the hallway on the other side. And um, I think there, there needs to be some recognition of the fact that uh, um, you do a, a lot of good things. Uh, in this very small space. Uh, we have the REV program that you've heard about. This is where our alum uh, work with uh, students, faculty, alum, anybody, to basically share their experience, uh, share their knowledge, so that um, the students get a head start on whatever they're, uh, whatever they're doing. Uh, you've also seen the fact that almost every single day we have some kind of special program going on here. Uh, we started out way back when with Arduinos. Not exactly sure if that's the microprocessor of, uh, of choice, but nevertheless, uh, boy, we did some great work with Arduinos. Uh, we had racing cars. We had all kinds of things. And um, uh, so all these special programs, these special speakers, uh, uh, it's interesting, and I'll tell you sort of a, 
an interesting story. Um, I was at one of the uh, speaker events. Uh, this is actually pretty much towards the beginning. And um, you know, I always talked to the students around me. And, uh, and there was two, two guys that were sitting right next to me. And I asked them where they were from. And they were from BU. And I'm saying, BU, how'd you get here? And he said, well, they knew somebody from Northeastern. And they were invited to come to the speaker. They thought the speaker would be interesting. And I'm saying, wow, you mean so we, have, we actually have significance outside of our own university here. And it, it's, it was actually, in some respects, it was very satisfying because uh, we're obviously doing things that others aren't. And that all, um, that all speaks to, to, I guess, the purpose of what we're here for. We, you, you know, uh, everybody, the thousand people or more, I'm sure it's much, much more by now, that have been through um, or touched some of the resources of the Sherman Center have probably, or the Sherm, sorry, 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 sorry have, have probably uh, learned something. And in any engagement, if one thing is, is learned that you didn't know before, then that, I think, is a very successful in, engagement. Uh, we all have an engineering um, uh, minor in entrepreneurship. Uh, we have some of our uh, professors here today. Uh, this was something I felt very strongly about uh, early on. Um, there's no doubt about it. Uh, those of us that have older engineering degrees and are in business know that we've made lots of mistakes on that road. And somehow we survived them. It would be really nice to be able to get this information over to, um, I guess, the next group of uh, business people so that they don't repeat the same mistakes that uh, we did. And so um, we have that uh, minor. And um, what I understand is very successful. And uh, a lot of people, um, it's pretty much, I don't know if it's sold out is the right word, but uh, it's, uh, it's oversubscribed every single uh, semester so that uh, to get a seat uh, in the entrepreneurship program is very difficult to do. Generate, well, we've said so much about Generate. Um, it's interesting. Uh, I originally thought it started with five, and now I heard it started at 18. Uh, originally, uh, I thought um, we have about 65 people in Generate now. Now the number is 72. So needless to say, it's a little fluid. <laughs> so, um, but after everything is said and done, they're doing a tremendous job. What most people don't realize, and again, maybe this is, this is a self-serving comment, whether you're a business person or you're in the Bouvet health science or whatever, no matter what you do, when it comes down to it, you're going to need an engineer to develop something for you. Something has to be built. Something has to be modified, changed colored, whatever it is, but something has to be done that requires an engineer. And you know what? Here we are. And so that's the reason why I agree. I think Generate probably already has a life of its own, but it can only get bigger because the demands will only be greater and we will ultimately uh, need more room. <laughs> Need more room. Uh, lastly, and one of the, the last things that um, I'd like to bring up, and this was not talked about that much, was uh, the co-op program. This is a program that I, I thought um, the Sherman Center should have because what it allows, it allows a student, and it's, I think they're all students so far, uh, even though it's not, uh, it's, it, it's not uh, restricted only to uh, undergrads. But it allows a student to basically work on their innovation pretty much exclusively and either prove or disprove their, the thesis of whatever their business opportunity is and do it in an environment that um, would be very similar to what would happen in a startup environment 
except we have a little bit of a safety net for them. And the safety net is, uh, even though it is a true co-op, they are required to show up at the Sherman Center, show up at poor, poor Ted. Ted gets everything. But they, they, show, up, um, they show up at uh, Ted's office and basically work on their innovation. That is, um, that's a little bit of an artificial environment because they are students, they are paid as a co-op job would, which means they don't have to worry about uh, the financial consequences of working on, on uh, their co-op program. And I see the, the few co-ops that I, I see here all agree that, uh, um, that, being, that, that having that financial net underneath them allows them to put all their efforts, all their, everything that they got into their innovation for one semester. And so they got to go like hell, and they either have to prove or disprove uh, what they say. What I understand, it's a, the screening process of getting selected for this program is very difficult. Uh, you have to have, I guess, the courage, the motivation, and the the desire to basically be a success. And uh, we encourage that and foster that through the Sherman Co-op Program. So what's next? I think I've said this, this is the third time because I'm counting, we need more space. <laughs> and uh, there's a wall, nice wall behind me that, boy, I'll tell you, in a day it could be gone. And. Uh, Generate will only get bigger. Generate will only get better at what they do. They're becoming much, much more efficient. Um, they've learned that there is a difference between software and hardware. And <laughs> from being 40 plus years in the business, I, I know there's quite a bit of difference between the two. Um, we need basically to, to encourage that, foster that, um, and uh, to give them the resources that they need in order to be successful. Um, Generate has been, been spoken about a lot by the administration of the university. They rarely, if ever, give credit for the fact that basically it is one of the elements of the Sherman Center. So I think uh, perhaps maybe uh, as we expand our space, maybe we should make that a little bit more, a little bit more visible. Um, basically going forward, I think uh, Andrew has done a, a wonderful job of explaining some of the things that uh, we look forward to, to doing. Um, so some of these programs are, uh, are new, and um, some of these are just modifications of existing programs. But um, the whole idea is, is, it is my intention that, and our intention, that the Sherman Center get bigger, uh, have more students' involvement, and that we are always here to service the needs of the entrepreneurial student. Now, you all must recognize, and I'm sure you do, that not everybody is inclined to be in business. Not everybody is inclined to be an entrepreneur, uh, which is okay. I mean, there are people that love, the, love to work in labs and, and do those kinds of things and, and uh, work that way. That's not really who we service. We service those that want a little bit more out of their education, uh, to do just a little bit more. Um, I don't know if it's appropriate, but if there's a question and answer time, I'm, I'd be happy to answer questions. I mean, is, is that? <laughs> well, it's, it's, not, it's not really up to me. Uh, <laughs> Well, okay, if there's any, let's, let's do a quick, if there's any quick questions or comments or uh, 
ideas on what we should be doing next, then we certainly would like to hear that because we, we grow off the enthusiasm of those that we serve. Yes? Yes. Well, great. Thank you so much. That was very, 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 very nice. Um, it, it's good to hear the successes. And um, we are here to do those kinds of things. Uh, we also know that in, in scholarship yet in particular, because I know a little bit about it, I know that there were some changes made during those six months to the way uh, it was marketed. and. Uh, that was quite pivotal in terms of where you are right now. So um, the beauty of the co-op program, and again, we're using co-op, and I'm not exactly sure if that's the right word, but uh, we're using the co-op program because this is a co-op school um, to basically just get the, the, uh, the um, a method of taking somebody who believes they can be an entrepreneur and make them be an entrepreneur for one semester. And it's a lot of pressure, a lot of pressure. And um, any other questions? Zoe, yes. This is, by the way, this is my granddaughter, Zoe. Yes, Zoe has a question. Yeah. But do we, do we have the kind of things that would keep you uh, interested here? Yeah. We have a 3D printer over there. We can make some really nice stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, the, the only problem is, Zoe, we would have to, um, the students that are here are here now if we were to go a little bit younger than college students into high school or maybe junior high school, um, it, would, it would make a transportation issue that uh, we don't want to have to deal with. Unless, unless mommy wants to bring her. No, <laughs> no, mommy's not interested in that. Uh, okay. Why didn't I think of that? I don't know why. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, if, if there's no more comments, uh, or uh, then I would, again, Ann and I would like to thank you all for coming here this evening, and uh, we thank you very much, and we look forward to doing this ex again with the new expanded Make <laughs> maker space or whatever they decide to call it. Fair <laughs> black or whatever. Thank you. Uh, I guess we have an opportunity now to actually eat and drink and do things. Yeah, I mean, officially, I just want to say, uh, oh. Michael, thank you for your words oh. and for your vision. Oh, oh, the entire you. Sherman family for your generosity and your friendship to the College of Engineering. So again, let's thank the Sherman family one more time. Thank you. Well, thank you. And thank you for taking over the uh, the role and being our director. I know uh, extreme honor. You have thank you. tremendous vision, and I, I hear it tonight. And uh, I look forward to uh, to participating in my way. way. And again, you understand my way of participating is more of a. Top down approach. <laughs> or side side approach. Yeah. 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 Thank you very much, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Please enjoy the rest of the evening, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.